They say a picture is worth a thousand words. And if words were brushstrokes, Will Furrow would have written a novel by now. <laughs> Over the years, he's made quite a few creations he's proud of. So rather than painting the moon, the moon was already always there. But there's one he's particularly fond of. It's beautiful because it, the, the light, the, when the sun hits it, it's kind of diffused light. These stained glass windows were made 30 years ago. And for those 30 years, they've been a part of the Canadian Martyrs Church. This mural of a prairie landscape and the stained glass windows that set this place alive with light make this church special. There's a lot of churches that have stained glass windows, but these are particularly beautiful and these are particularly unique. But over the years, this church has suffered from declining attendance and a shrinking budget. The idea of having a faith community, an idea of finding a place where, where people will worship is becoming less and less significant. There's talk of selling this building and tearing it down, shocking the man who spent so much time making this church beautiful. It was actually overwhelming. It was like I took it personally. Which is why these parishioners are on a mission. That mural will not come off the wall. It's painted right on the wall. They're here to figure out a way to save their church. Even if you just did it for the artwork itself. We don't have a lot of things of beauty in this area. And this is just like, you know, sort of like a little diamond in the oasis. Still the problem looms, and without an agreement with their archdiocese, all of this might still be lost. There may come a time when, when we can't use this building, and so we can't keep it open because there's beautiful art here. The archdiocese says it wants to find a way to save the work. Still, that's no comfort for Perot. It would just... It would, it, would, it would be devastating to me, obviously, if, if that were to happen. Because if a picture's worth a thousand words, he just hopes that this chapter in his book of art will be enjoyed for a long time to come. Calvin Toe, Global News.